I found 11 remote jobs that you can do at night that have a flexible schedule in many cases and also do not require a college degree or previous experience. Now my team and I literally spend hundreds of hours on each video researching these jobs and making sure that they are top tier. And if you appreciate that, go ahead and let us know by gently tapping that like button. And let's get into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a podcast virtual assistant. And being a podcast virtual assistant is almost like having a backstage pass to the world of podcasting. You're gonna handle everything from researching topics to creating audiograms and managing the social media accounts of the podcast. And companies in the podcasting sphere are always on the lookout for these digital magicians. Here's a bunch of job postings, for instance, of people who are looking for this position. And this is gonna be especially good if you're someone who is familiar with podcasts. So if you listen to podcasts all the time, you probably have a sixth sense for what makes a good podcast or a bad one. And I actually helped one of my former students, David, get into a position like this because he was really passionate about podcasts. And now he's actually in a higher level position where he's basically running the entire show. Now, virtual assistants in general make about 41 to $68,000 a year. So this is a pretty well compensated position considering you don't need a college degree or previous experience in order to get into it. And if you do a good job, there are lots of jobs down the line that can pay much better than that. I mean, think about it. People like Joe Rogan are making $100 million a year. So if you can provide value to a podcast and help grow it really quickly, you can get a piece of that pie as well. And I think this kind of applies to just content creation in general. For instance, I coach a lot of people on how to grow their YouTube and make money with YouTube. And I've helped several of my students get to over a hundred thousand dollars a month. And that's because there's just a ridiculous amount of opportunity when it comes to the content creation world. And by the way, if you want to apply for my coaching, I do have a few slots that are open, but I am very selective about who I choose. I only work with people who are very serious about it, but you can apply for that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score because I honestly think that the creator economy is still in its early days. And I think that there's just going to be a lot more opportunity in the next five to 10 years. So it's best to get in right now when it's really easy to get a job. Next on the list is going to be an online ads assessor. And this is basically where you turn your internet addiction into a paycheck. And this is basically someone who fine tunes online ads for a better overall viewer experience. And companies that run online advertising, usually search engine or social media based companies are always on the hunt for online ads assessors to make sure that ads on their platform are of a high quality. Just because an ad makes them a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean it's the best thing for the brand as a whole. And so big online companies are very careful about what types of ads they allow on their platform. And internet ads assessors make about 50 to $84,000 a year. Now here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. But yeah, this is another one that's really good. It's especially good if you spend a lot of time on the internet browsing YouTube or other search engines or social media platforms. Platforms. Overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is very interesting, and that's going to be weekend freight tracking. This is a job that's relatively easy to get, especially if you're willing to work on weekends. And basically, their job is to make sure the deliveries get to the place that they're supposed to get to on time, especially over the weekend. And there's also a lot more opportunity for this type of role if you are willing to work at night. Now, roles related to freight tracking in general make about $43,000 to $66,000 a year. So this is really, really good especially considering it's an entry-level role, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, this is another really solid one. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. There's honestly still a ton of opportunity when it comes to logistics or shipping and anything that involves getting things from point A to point B. Next is going to be a corporate travel agent. And this is someone who specializes in arranging complex travel plans for corporate employees. And in many cases, you'll be working with executives, or high-level management, or in some cases, working with people from other companies or clients. And your job is to basically assure that they have a seamless travel experience. So this involves setting up flights, of course, making sure that their hotel is booked, but also making sure that they have transportation once they're on the ground. And extra points if you make sure they have a good experience once they're in the city as well. Now, corporate travel agents typically make about 47 to $73,000 a year. And again, that's really good considering it's entry level, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And by the way, sometimes I get comments down below that, you know, they look up the job posting 
and it says that they require experience. This is something that I cover in videos that I talk about how to land an actual job. Lots of different job postings say this, but really it's more of a recommendation and you should still apply anyways. And by the way, here's some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out if you'd like to. So yeah, overall, this is a really good one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a job that popped up in the last five to 10 years, and that's going to be an influencer relationship coordinator. Now, I'm sure everyone who's watched this video has seen that most channels out there have sponsors. But how exactly did the channel get that sponsorship in the first place and then coordinate with the brand to make the video? Well, that's where the influencer relations coordinator comes in. They are the ones that collaborate with the influencer to make sure that they create a great sponsorship. And by the way, it's estimated that 49% of consumers actually rely on influencer recommendations when they're making purchases. And this is one of the highest ROI or return on investment types of marketing. And of course, I think everyone knows that digital marketing is the most effective form of marketing. And speaking of digital marketing, I actually have a ton of interviews on this channel of people that I've helped get into entry level digital marketing jobs. And this of course would be an example of an entry level digital marketing job. And they all got into it through my friend, Seth. He is basically the world renowned expert on getting people entry level digital marketing jobs without needing a college degree or previous experience. I even have an interview with a 16 year old that was able to make a full time income and land a digital marketing job. And by the way, if you have any questions about digital marketing, because it is a lot, right? There's a lot of different types of digital marketing. Maybe you want to know if it's good for you. Seth does have a free digital marketing masterclass, which will put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And I highly recommend that you check it out. But anyways, back to influencer relations coordinator. They make about 46 to $68,000 a year. And again, it's relatively easy to get into. Overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And the next one is going to be a virtual event coordinator. Now, this is a job that got extremely popular in the last three to four years for kind of obvious reasons, because there were no events outside of virtual events for about two years. And so we had the largest virtual events in all of human history. For instance, concerts that had millions of online viewers. And event hosts make about forty-four to $75,000 a year. Now, this job probably sounds pretty easy, but there's a lot more to it than you'd think. You basically have to make sure that whatever your event is hosted on can handle the amount of people that are going to be in it. Everyone's on the same page about exactly when and where the event is going to be. And that's a lot easier said than done. But yeah, this is another one that has a ton of opportunity. It's basically a completely new career. So there's lots of easy opportunities to get in. It doesn't require a college degree or previous experience or anything like that. So I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. By the way, comment below what your favorite job that I mentioned in this video is. And of course I monitor the comments and I'll make more videos about that type of job in future uploads. Next is going to be a remote executive account rep. Now this is the first one on the list that is not going to be an entry level job because you're basically going to be working for the sales part of a company and you're going to be handling large accounts. And by accounts, I mean contracts that could be worth hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. And so they're typically not going to put newbies in charge of this type of thing. And you're basically going to be the middleman between a company and the company's large clients. Now you would typically be working for what's known as a B to B company, which means business to business. And so you would be working with other companies. And so this is a pretty big deal because you are going to be like the face of the company. You represent that brand and remote account executives make 73 to $132,000 a year. So you can make a ton of money doing this. In fact, if you're in the right industry, I know account executives making over $500,000 a year. So basically in order to become an account executive, you do need to have some sales experience first, but I've seen people become account executives within one to two years after starting their sales job. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And next is going to be a content specialist. This is another relatively new job that's emerged in the last five to 10 years. And when it comes to these new jobs, it's usually much easier to land them even without experience or a college degree. So maybe you're working for a big brand or a big company and you would be in charge of their YouTube channel or you'd be in charge of their Instagram and you would basically be in charge of making content for those. And I really can't emphasize how important making content is. It used to be that everyone would just spend money on paid ads, but it's becoming more and more difficult to be profitable with just paid ads alone. And so companies are turning more and more to making content. And also away from the whole making money thing, making content in general is just pretty cool. So this one is best if you spend a lot of time consuming a particular type of content. So for instance, if you spend a lot of time on YouTube, that would be good for you to aim for. If you spend a lot of time on Twitter, same thing. 
marketing. And content specialists make 48 to $74,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a digital marketing coordinator. So basically you're gonna be kind of like the architect of a digital marketing campaign. You're going to strategize, execute, and optimize marketing efforts across various different platforms. So for instance, you might have watched an ad on YouTube and you really liked the ad for some reason and you watched all of it. And then you log into Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and you see the same exact company advertising to you. That was probably set up by a digital marketing coordinator. Another thing that digital marketing coordinators might do is send specific emails to people who've already bought a certain product. So for instance, if you like to shop at a particular online store for clothes, and you bought certain types of shoes at that online store in the past, and then they have a big sale for shoes, they'll probably send you that email specifically because you're much more likely to purchase it because you've bought that kind of thing in the past. Now, digital marketing coordinators make about 47 to $69,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. And I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a chat support associate. More and more consumers are getting tired of having to call customer support, and they're expecting companies to have chat support available. And chat support is actually one of the most popular ways of getting customer support. And they estimate that 51% of consumers say that they would buy again from a company if they have chat support. And it makes sense because typically it's much faster to get an answer from somebody if you type to them in a chat. And chat support makes about thirty-four to $57,000 a year. So I'm not going to lie to you, this is probably not the most glorious job out there. It's still a customer service job at the end of the day. But you don't have to talk to really rude people on the phone, you just have to type to them. So I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10, and here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a remote review writer. And this is basically a position where you write reviews on different products or services. Now there's lots of opportunities out there for this because a lot of the time people will go to review sites before they buy something. So for instance, if you've ever purchased a car, you probably looked up like 20 different review sites. And the salary here is really good. Here's the Glassdoor salary. They typically make about $25 to $35 an hour. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And I'm going to give this one an overall opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. By the way, if you think of anybody out there that could get value from a super well-researched video like this, go ahead and share it with them, right? So if you have a friend, family member, or just someone who needs to get a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Next is going to be an e-commerce specialist. And this is basically someone who specializes in helping companies sell physical products online. And this is an extremely profitable industry. Now, e-commerce companies are typically gonna be using a software called Klaviyo for their online digital marketing and their email marketing. And it's a super specialized software that basically sends the exact message to the right type of person who would possibly be interested in buying the product. But there's really a lot more to it than that. You know, e-commerce is just kind of its own type of beast. And being a specialist in e-commerce can really help you get a job. And this, of course, would be really good for someone who likes to shop for physical products online all the time. But you'd make about 47 to 70 $4,000 a year in this role. And overall, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, if you want a nighttime work from home job, I did make another video where I went over 19 separate work from home jobs that you can do at night. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.